Former President Maitri Pali Sirisena's controversial revelation of his knowledge of the mastermind behind the Easter Sunday attacks, an order was issued by the Maliga Kanda Magistrate Court against him to appear before the court today. The order was issued on the 28th of March, a few days after the former president was grilled by the Criminal Investigation Department or CID for the same reason, upon a directive issued to Inspector General of Police Deshabandhu Tennakon by the Minister of Public Security. However, in a motion filed through his attorneys, the former president informed the court that there was no need for him to make a statement in court as he had already provided one to the CID. As a result, the case was taken up for hearing this afternoon in absentia of Maitri Pala Sirisena. While highlighting that investigations are underway pertaining to the accuracy of Sirisena's statement, the CID requested that an order be given to gather evidence by investigating several phone numbers and CCTV footage cited by Sirisena during his statement. Attorney Rajita Lakmal, who appeared on behalf of the aggrieved party, represented by Samagijana Balvega MP Dr. Kavin the Jayawardana, who also lodged a complaint with the CID against the former president's statement, reminded the court that Sirisena was found guilty by the Supreme Court for violating the fundamental rights of the citizens due to his negligence to prevent the Easter Sunday attacks. Additionally, Sirisena affirmed that he was ready to make a statement if he were summoned to court, but however had subsequently changed his stance. The Maliga Khanda magistrate said the President's counsel Anuja Premaratna has relayed the former President's strong desire to appear before court but was later withdrawn on legal advice. The attorney for the aggrieved party once again reiterated that the statements made by Sirisena from time to time lead to controversy. He added that this statement can either be false or true, meaning that he is concealing the truth on purpose. Further, he went on to say that per section 199 of the Penal Code, whoever knowing or having reason to believe that an offence has been committed intentionally omits to give any information respecting that offence which he is legally bound to give shall be punished with imprisonment of either description of a term which may extend to six months or a fine or with both. He also highlighted section 200 of the Penal Code, which states that whoever knowing or having reason to believe that an offence has been committed gives any information respecting that offence, which he knows or believes to be false, shall be punished with imprisonment of either description of a term which may extend to two years or with fine or with both. Attorney Sandeep Suryarachi, who appeared on behalf of the former president, said that his client's failure to provide a statement to the court will not hinder the investigations. Even though the aggrieved party requested permission to obtain the statement issued to the CID, Maliga Khan, the magistrate Lochani Abe Rikrama, declined permission on the basis of the sensitivity of the content included therein. Taking the facts presented before the court, the Maliga Khan, the magistrate, ordered the case to be taken up for hearing once again on the 10th of May.